hello and here is a first look at the unpacking of a PV32FX yikes <laughs> oh gotta pull back it's so big okay so yeah nah, that's the size of my hand compared to the PV32 there you go so you got a size thingy um so yeah what do we have here okay um first off these all all these channels can be grouped up into four groups depending on the group the, uh, uh, of course the gains the highs mids lows highs um also we have five aux actually six aux and of course standard pan so uh, we also have two stereo uh, two stereo outputs and the rest is mono uh, the silencer mic preamps for the microphones um, for those of you who don't know that that's what powers the microphones <laughs> And like I said, all this can be subbed into groups so I could put the drums. You know how many mics take up drums? Mics, drum mics take up like seven. And I could put it into a group one, and here's where the group one is at. Or of course, master left, right, separate, and extra 30, 30, 25, 32. So this is it right here um, of two lamps, connectors. For the lamps, um, this is a, a affordable board. Uh, on it's on the market for one thousand four hundred. So, it's an affordable thirty-two board. I decided to go with PV, even though of course there are cheaper thirty-two boards. But what I liked about PV is the fact that it has a built-in crossover, and and I will show you that later through here built-in crossover of course EQ and all that and it also has a feedback ferry the feedback ferry is what really caused because my church has feedback problems since my church is small bounce sounds bouncing all over the place and I have to uh, normal circumstances I have to you know turn down the high to six and the mids to six and then the low to like two minus two and that will you know lower the thing substantially it's an old old mixer it doesn't even have a gain and so we're going to be replacing it uh, two lamps for night for you know when you need to turn off the lights turn on the lamps have to get that that's sold separately but like I said slowly but surely and here are all the mics and quarter inch cable inputs um the uh here are the the outs for the amps um and here are the subgroups oh oh that whole section is for outs <laughs> I'm not gonna get into it, but there you go um. But here are the main two main outs for a left right mono. Usually I'm going to use these cables um, because they're better bow cables instead of quarter inch. And um, that's it. Uh, let's see. So yes. So all we need right now is the amplifier trying to get a QSC amplifier because the QSC amplifiers have a six year warranty <laughs> so you know the this thing that 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 QSC amplifiers are never gonna fail on you which is one of the biggest things for mixers you know, biggest problems for mixers is that you connect the mixer but you get an overheating amplifier and then it turns off live and then you have a, you know, problems during the live. Like I said, PV32 
has a feedback ferret. I have to install the feedback ferret, I believe. I'm going to turn it on, make sure if it has, if it doesn't have, I have to patch it up from the internet. And it does, oh, speaking of patching, look how beautiful this is. Um, two um, memory USB stick and computer USB, but the USB stick that goes here is um, you could actually record from this mixer. Of course, I, don't, I have not tested it. And if it's anything like Pro Tools, it'll take a while to bounce. In other words, the rule is the amount of time you record it is the amount of time it takes to bounce. So, technically, since my church has, we have Pro Tools and Box 2, um, I will, we will not be using this feature. But for other churches, if you're interested, it does have this feature. You can record your preaching, put it into MP it, it auto records into MP3 because the hard drive is in there, and it does have its own personal hard drive. But you use, you have to connect the USB stick, so it makes the wave inside and then bounces it off to the USB stick as MP3 or wave. So, for all those pastors out there, if they really want to record their preaching. I prefer getting yourself an inbox Pro Tools because it's it's easier and you could do way more with it. And of course, headphone jack for mixing. A quarter inch. So you got to get an adapter for the quarter inch, which I already have. <laughs> so that's it for the review. I will make another video on turning it on and connecting it. I'm just uh, putting this for Facebook purposes and uh, you know Monsignor um, Apostolica is going to be doing concerts coming soon on a regular basis and we're on our first steps. Alright, God bless you and take care. Oh, and if, oh, also a little plug in here uh, Fontana's recording dot com uh, best studio in uh in the east best christian recording studio in the east thank you god bless